Well, Wings and Wheels is a unique combination of airplanes and cars and um, the attendance was uh, fairly good this year. I was, I'm proud to say that it was up to approximately 3,200 uh, visitors to our show. Registered automobiles this year was 206 automobiles, which is phenomenal for in the middle of nowhere here at Hummel Airfield. And the aircraft count this year was down because of the winds causing problems with the aircraft landing. It was only, I'd say, maybe 25 airplanes this year. Well, Wings and Wheels came about because of the simple fact that I recognized the unique opportunity of the airport. It's, it's a business community, it's an enjoyable community. Having a bunch of neat looking airplanes and cool looking cars at my shop would be a fun day for me and that's where it all started. This year one of the unique things that we had was uh, the United States Coast Guard blessed us with their, their battleship, their, their machine gun laden ship that they cruised the ports in Virginia with. This is our brand new 25 response boat. It's uh, brand new off the line. We do a lot of law enforcement search and rescue here in Matthews. We patrol from the York River down in Gloucester up to Smith Point, which is at the Maryland-Virginia state line. It's about 3,000 square miles of waterfront. 25 foot long. It's uh, eight and a half feet wide. It goes uh, 46 uh, knots, uh, uh, 225s uh, dual, and that's about 450 horsepower. We have a chart plotter, radar, depth finder, all the best technology for this boat we have. It's, it's, it's amazing. And another contributor to the show was uh, Charles Maples flying a beach stagger wing. Absolutely gorgeous phenomenon of an airplane. Yellow, blue stripes, the corporate jet of the 40s. We had an absolutely beautiful S and J. My name is Rick Henshaw and this is my airplane. I have two partners that own it with me. Uh, it's a North American SNJ-5 uh, Navy uh, uh, World War II trainer. It's a two place. You uh, Normally in, in the war you would have a, an instructor and a student pilot uh, and then of course if it was solo the student pilot would fly the airplane from the front seat. This airplane was delivered to the government in 1943. Uh, it served as an instrument trainer uh, throughout its career. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever been to Wings and Wheels. It was nice of them to invite me, and uh, I'm glad that the weather cooperated, and we were able to get down here and let you know some of the spectators and enjoy the airplane. That's why we that's why we fly, is to everybody see a piece of history. You know, I can only hope that what is being done right now with Wings and Wheels here at the airport will be something that will be carried into the future, and will also bless a lot of people that wouldn't have the opportunity to see the airport to be able to come out and have experiences that would have never happened without the show. It's an opportunity for the community to become part of the airport and the airport to become part of the community.